Welcome back to another Celebrating Too Early compilation. This bloke decides to pop a big bloody wheelie as he heads for the finish line. If this was a big wheelie competition, he'd be up there with the greatest. Unfortunately, it's a regular race and he's lost. This bloke is on the home stretch. He thanks everyone for coming. Staff members are paid with high fives. Meanwhile, a focused athlete approaches. There's a dodgy block and the wanker holds on to victory. He's like, yeah, nah, the race was done. It was done. Just give us a hug and shut up about it. Over at the cricket, he struck that well. It's surely gonna be four runs. It's going, it's going, it's going. No! It's fucking gassed out. Piss poor cardio by the ball. In comes Mitchell Stark. He chucks it to the wiki. The batsmen are relaxing and that's out. What a glorious fuck up by Team Pakistan. The Aussies are like, good work. Let's go to the pub for a beer and a chicken parmi with chips. The only thing on the menu for Azhar Ali is a piece of humble pie. If there's one sport where people usually celebrate too early, it's volleyball. It looks like this will be out, but this Sheila says, go, go, gadget, leg, and she keeps it in. Her teammate pops it up, and blue team is fucked. The suspense of a penalty shot becoming the balls up is one of the greatest elements of soccer. He strikes it, goalie stops it, but he's like, I put spin on it. The goalie celebrates to a crowd of 10 people. Look at the spin, look at the spin. Yes, it's a goal. I reckon he is an underrated genius. He knew the goalie was an arrogant prick. He knew how to do a spinny shot and that is perfection. Here's a nice little putt. Why not point your club like it's a shotgun to celebrate? Oh, shit idea, shit idea. I am definitely all for audience engagement, but don't fucking do it when there's a fella with a determined face chasing you. Determined faces always win. That is sensational. He celebrates right on time just to rub it in. Kazam the genie is like, I'm gonna eat a spicy chip. He takes a bite and reckons he can't feel a thing. The Carolina Reaper is weak as piss, apparently. There's nothing to me. <laughs> ah. <laughs> <Is that> little... <laughs> no, he admits it now, he is fucked. He regrets all of his trash talking and runs away to chunder in the toilet. Oh dear me, more audience engagement, taunting his opponents, self-congratulatory fist pumps. Little does he know that was not the final lap. It is not time to head to the pub for a beer and a chicken palmy with chips. He refuses to face reality. Actually, I think cyclists give volleyball players a run for their money when it comes to celebrating too early. Hands go up and... And another dickhead bites the dust. Dun, dun, dun. Another dickhead bites the dust. And another one. And another one. Come on, run over the finish line. Just run over it casually. No, don't do a trick. He decided to do a trick. He's broken his ankle. The other guy says, quit blocking the finish line. He runs over it like a sensible person. Look at his face committed to doing the trick. He launches it and there's the fucking break. Staff members are like, you broke your ankle. You broke your ankle trying to do a trick. <laughs> that is classic.